The HelpSpot workspace contains several areas that you'll want to know how to use in order to manage requests as they come in from customers. Each of these areas is located on the left-hand side panel here. And we'll just walk through each one in kind of a common workflow for how you will want to work with requests inside of HelpSpot. So the first area to talk about is this top selection called the inbox. Now the inbox is going to show you all new, open, unassigned requests. So these are requests that have not been assigned to any of the staff members inside of HelpSpot already. And you'll notice that each request here is shown in what we call the grid. And the grid's gonna give us some basic information about each request, including what the initial request was, who the customer is, what the age of the request is, um, as well as some other functions here that we'll get into in just a little bit. First of all, if I just wanna take a look at this request, I can use the peak view by clicking on the request in the grid. And that's going to bring up this request into uh, the peak view that will allow me to view all of the request details as well as more information about the customer and this request. Now I can page through requests using the next and previous navigation and I can also go ahead and close this back out. Now each of these requests inside of the inbox you'll notice have a take it button and what the take it button allows you to do is to immediately assign this request to yourself. So let's say I went ahead and looked at this request and this is a request that I can handle. Now I could go ahead and click on the ticket button right here or back in the request grid. Now at this point you'll see that the request has now been assigned to me and I can start working with this request. Now where this request is located in the interface now is going to be inside of the My Queue area. Now, unlike the inbox, the My Queue is going to show you all open requests that are currently assigned to you as a staff member. And the grid looks very similar here. I still have my peak view available. I can still page through requests. But you'll notice that the Take It button has been replaced with some other controls. First of all, the request ID itself is displayed here. And I can go ahead and click on this request ID in order to open up the request and begin working on it. Now I also have another indicator here uh, that you can see these green dots and then this arrow. And what this shows me is requests that have new unread information in them. So if a customer or another staff member updates this request, this indicator will turn green, indicating that I have new uh, request information that I haven't looked at yet. Once I go ahead and open this request and then move back to my queue, we can see that that request is now marked as red. Now, if I wanna go ahead and mark this request as having unread information again, I can go ahead and simply click on that indicator and change it back to unread. So the My Queue area is where you will find yourself working for a large extent of the time because it's gonna show you all of the requests that you're currently working on. And it's a great way to centralize your work inside of HelpSpot. Now the next option that I have down here in my list of areas in HelpSpot is the spam folder. And HelpSpot has a spam filter that will automatically learn using a Bayesian algorithm what messages are spam. But what this allows you to do is train the spam filter by deleting spam or marking items as not spam that uh, HelpSpot may have flagged incorrectly. Then finally down here we have the trash. Uh, those requests will be automatically deleted after 30 days. Uh, in most cases, you're going to want to close a request instead of placing it in the trash. Only requests that are truly not needed inside of HelpSpot should be placed in the trash because once they are deleted, they are not recoverable. Next down here, we have the quick search area. And this quick search allows you to search either based on an ID or on a customer for requests inside of the system. You can also choose to search the entire history of a request using this checkbox right here. So I can go ahead and type something like this. And now I'm gonna bring up every request that mentions rabbit somewhere in it. You can go ahead and click on any of these requests to actually navigate to the request itself. 
We also have an advanced search area that can be accessed right from here. And if you're needing to simply navigate quickly to a request ID, you can simply type the ID into this field and HelpSpot will take you right there. And finally down here, we have our filters listed. And filters are a way of viewing various sets of requests inside of HelpSpot. And there's a lot that you can do with filters in order to build different views for different tasks. And we'll cover that in a separate video.